What's up, everybody? Back on the garage site. All framed out, roofs on. They're getting the siding going, and we are prepping for this floor. They got to do some clean out. We got the exterior wall. That was the exterior wall of the concrete opening cut out. Just breaking it up right now to get out of the garage. We got to put a couple bulkhead boards on here. So now they could walk through and our floors will meet right here. I broke mine. Yeah. No rebar in it. Breaking easy. He's got the guns out. He's got the guns out. All right. Concrete's all out. Everything's formed up. Raked back in. Got the form on the back door. These guys will get this cleaned out first. We'll give it a final rake. Snap our lines in the inside. Back on site on the two-car garage site got the white trucks pouring this two-car garage everything's framed up just waiting on the siders to finish this project and then upstairs best to get done but got the plastic down we're going to throw in some grade stakes this morning and we have uh fiber mix 4,000 pound concrete with fiber mix no wire Setting grade stakes just on the form there for the string line and then to the heart chalk line there because it's on a pitch. Perfect. Let's rock and roll. All right, that's one truck down. Our screed marks right there. We're gonna start screeding, clean that coal chute, get it all cleaned up, and ready to rock and roll.
right, Meek's got the bull mag going. Best way to get a floor flat. I uh, float all my edges down most of the time, like that first, before we hit it with the Viber Screed if you have time, but usually the Viber Screed knocks the rocks down, but this ensures to keep them rocks down and put it right to the line. It gives me a little uh, screed to go off of. Wet screed. I'm gonna get this slicked off. Got the other truck coming to put in the other eight. And good to go. All right, second truck's here. Let's get it in. All right, concrete is all in. We go blending that angle super sweet where the two met. We'll get this thing floated off and let her set. And on to the next step. We gotta cut these door, these doors where they meet down a good inch. Let that water shed off the door and out. Show you that in a bit. All right, I know my regular viewers already seen all this technique, but this is for the new people. I cut this down an inch. I take an inch of concrete out like so. Then I put a taper on this. It's going up. That way, when you got to drive in rain and your door sits right here, the rain comes down, hits this slant and goes out instead of under that seal because it will go under that seal. After I get it all knocked down, I take my chamfered edge, throw it on there. It makes a nice edge for that tires to meet the uh, concrete. Black top meet it, whatever, keeps it from chipping. And then we keep troweling it out. All right, just hitting the edges off real quick. Obviously this side is gonna set up quicker. We poured it 40 minutes uh, before the truck got here for this. And this side was just a touch wet. Then this side when we installed it. Um, so it's gonna be a little tricky transition. We gotta play with that as you got from hard to soft, or yeah, hard to soft. But we'll get it. Got the air mover on this side to get it drying. And uh, that's where we're at. Got the edges cut out here. Started to trial this one in. All right, got the pizza pan first hit. first hit on the first truck with the pizza pan we'll let that set a while and then I'll hit this with the pizza pan again and then try to blend into this hopefully with the Sun on this part it's gonna catch up real fast but uh quite a bit of difference in the two trucks Meek says it's like winter all over normally we do this in the winter time and blow heat in there not in the hot summer but we're doing it to cut the sunlight on that spot that we poured first control this concrete and that should be good and then this is uh where it's wet and then we'll hopefully dry in this area and one thing after another we'll get her done got that married in nicely with the pan i just kept working it back and forth very slowly to, to marry those two pieces so you, you from hard to soft you'll you could get it some imperfections and we wanted to make sure that was dead flat, and it is. That side's already got hit with the blades once. This is the pan hit, and this is still waiting over here. 
another half hour we'll hit that off with the pan and then everything with the blades and hopefully we'll catch it we should catch it all right like i said pizza pan blades nothing so now we're gonna do pizza pan here marry this all in and then hit blades on everything and another 20 hit lunch up and we should be able to start polishing everything all in one motion story time so the first truck showed up on time and the slump was perfect second truck 40 minutes late and it was wet uh so there was some technique going on here that's why the two uh slabs were drying differently um and we couldn't just finish all at once so basically you want to just come along like i am and just put the front tip of the blades into the wet stuff and just have weight on the back of the trowel like i'm just nudging it in there right where it is like that and uh create it so it's not digging in because if i just let it go out on there you're going to bury it and you create a hump in the floor and then the next pass that you get on there a half hour later it'll be too hard to get out so it's really tricky even like the first pass is the most trickiest and as you keep go doing what i'm doing it gets easier as uh it dries as long as you don't go out onto that wet super hard but you have to definitely engage it yeah all right sorry for the delay in video it's just working it's hot out we're trying to get this all blended and i got this transition really good that part's all done and then uh as you see it just gets wetter as it goes and it's working our way over but at least i don't have to mess with that transition of the soft and hard and we'll uh keep working this as we go and keep troweling it probably uh two more hits you know i'm gonna let it set pretty good now not gonna go back out on that. Looking good where it meets the other floor. You can see all the fiber in it. See that fiber down in there? So what happens is that just gets burnt off with the trowel machine and, and then it stays like that. And then uh, just over, they just break off just on normal use. But that's a, a lot of fiber in there. We like the fiber. Let's see what we got. Last hit is complete. Just loading the truck up. Lots of fiber in this. It's nice. Come out really well. The transition of everything is perfect. Even though we had two different uh, mixes on those trucks, we made it work. We made it work. Got an air mover here. 
save that for tomorrow when we saw cut uh that helps a lot if you can get the air going across the slab it will dry it completely but yeah super pumped on the way this one come out back on site voice is all muffled because i'm gassed up got the mask on there's my saw cuts with this show rolling this is the worst part of concrete dusty yeah that was too dusty for you got it all saw cut you probably can't see it it's a little dark in here got the cuts going back everything nice and straight take your time on a four inch slab go one inch down in uh this slab's five inches so we went in inch and a quarter inch and a half in some spots come out super sweet two inch pitch five inch floor 4000 psi with fiber lots and lots of fiber as you saw when we finished all right my people this is a wrap catch you on the flip side Thumbs up and subscribe.